it is time. It is time to brew your best beer. The 2016 SJ Pour Challenge is dedicated to your friend and ours, Paul Wickstein. Brought to you by Brewcraft USA. I make Gladfield Malting, Yakima Valley Hops, The Grain Bill, Brewers Exchange, Keg Kingdom Homebrew Supply, Hiraki Homebrew, and a special thanks to our silver sponsors. Clemens Homebrew coming at you with another 2016 SJ Port Challenge US Canada Finals Beer Review. Uh, this one is 24S 22U89V. It's a light Belgian blonde at 4.2%. Uh, they call it like a, a lawnmower beer with a toned down Belgian blonde. And it's uh, dry hopped and they used cure pills for the mouthfeel. So let's get, get this one cracked open. I'm suddenly being bombarded by planes, of course. All right, let's see what we got here. A lot of bubbles rising up initially. Wow, it's kind of interesting. It's got a, it's got a uh, like a like a little bit of a pinkish red type hue. It's very light in color. It's fairly clear. Um, quite interesting. Very white white head on that. So let's get the nose. Oh yeah, there's some nice like fruits in this. It's it's surprising for Belgian blonde. I mean, I don't I, these it's these are definitely hops. They're not just like esters. I get a little bit of pear, like a little bit of peach. I get some apple on it. Oh yeah, I do get the Belgian yeast. I get a light, light bit of like a spiciness to it, which is nice. So it's it's a very nice nose actually. I'm gonna take a little time with this and I'll come back. I'm getting a light hint of citrus on it as well, but just very light, almost lemony. All right, we're gonna dive in, cheers. That's nice. I like that. It's, uh, I like Belgian beers. I like that that Belgian yeast. It's very light, of course, but yeah, I get just the lightest bit of a bubble gum kind of flavor on it too. Um, but just a, a light, just a very light spiciness, you know, uh, as if you had like a, some nutmeg and ginger on there, clove. Really nice multi flavors on there. God, that's good. Along with the Belgian yeast, and then getting different fruits, so different esters and things coming off. I really don't know what they did for hopping exactly. They didn't say, but like I said before, I get like a bit of bit of pear on it. I get some like maybe stone fruit, possibly peach. Uh, I get some apple on there. As far as the body goes, oh, it's it's light, but it's kind of crisp and clean. Uh, the carbonation is actually moderate. It's, it's a fine carbonation, but it really hits you, so it's really refreshing. It'd be a great summer beer. Yeah, it's wonderful. Then it just really uh, leaves the sweetness, but then it dries off the palate really nice. Um, and it's more than just medium dry. I mean, it dries it off pretty good, but it does leave those sweet flavors on the palate. I feel like I get some herbal stuff too. Like I want to say like some rose or something, you know, some real floral stuff going on. Yeah, I'm not really getting citrus. It's all, it's all those uh, crisp fruits, crisp, freshy fruits like fruits, like I say, like pear and apple would be the most dominant. I almost feel like I get a hint of like a pomegranate too. Kind of fun. All right, let's see what it says here. It goes, a, Belg a light and refreshing lawnmower beer brewed in the classic Belgian ale style, but featuring a smaller grain bill, the addition of care pills for mouthfeel, along with a substantial amount of dry hops to provide the aroma. Yeah, I don't know what it's dry hopped with, but I'm digging on it. I think, I think this is a great beer, actually. I really do. I'm liking it a lot. Here it is. It's the 24S 22U89V. <laughs> I think this one's a winner. I think it's a good beer. Cheers to you, whoever brewed that. We'll catch you on the next review.